Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're actually going to go somewhere in the bounder. Old Betty here has had a pretty good rest. I, I think we've been back in Pennsylvania for about six weeks. And with the exception of going up to Brookville, which is a little over an hour or so away, you know, for a few days, the, the bounder's been sitting here, resting. <laughs> so we're going to get her out of here today. Uh, hopefully we go stay... Uh, we're not going very far and we're not staying very long because, well, she's up next on the project list and I have parts and stuff laid out. I have a helper coming uh, this weekend, help me get some things done to the bounder. And uh, I got more packages coming. So we're gonna at least get away uh, this, for this afternoon, this evening, maybe come back late tomorrow. But we, we need to get out of here for a little while. I got to thinking, um, there's no motorcycle on the back there. For all the longer we're going, I don't think I'm taking anything. I thought about it. <laughs> so do we take the uh, Suzuki Van Van? Do we take the Kawasaki Versus? Or maybe I can just throw the e-bike on the back. I'm not gonna bother. For as long as we're gonna be gone, I'm gonna get out and about a little bit, out of the bounder. I'm gonna grab Bella's leash and we're just gonna do some walking. Yeah, the trouble is, uh, Bella doesn't have the freedom at campgrounds and that she does here. She's got all, all this to run in and she does and loves it. The campground, they're supposed to be on, dogs are supposed to be on leashes and all that sort of thing. So, there's that. Bella would probably just rather be here okay so I have some parts lined up here for when we get back I think I've cleaned put things away I got this about as organized I guess my work's about completed here with this garage for the season it, it really has uh, the parts I got laid out when we get back I got a new steering stabilizer uh, new front shocks oil and filter for the oil change, new brake pads front and back, and uh, the airbags for the front. So when we get back, all that's going on, and and uh, that's it. Okay, I got an awful lot of comments, uh, a lot of great comments in that last video about trying to figure out how to take, um, how to better take my hobby my mechanical restoration, repair, fix it, yeah, that's whole sort of thing I enjoy doing. How I could better take it on the road, having a, a hobby along on the road. Cause, Cause there are times, being on the road's great, adventuring, exploring, hiking, you know, going on the motorcycle rides and exploring stuff. But there's a lot in between time. Uh, we're sitting around, you know, people enjoy doing different things. You know, some people enjoy cooking, and they have their kitchen. They really don't have to ha really don't have to haul anything additional. Um, you know, I know some people do some crafting and stuff, but uh, a lot of that just takes up. So, I mean, yeah, but that's kind of like none of that's my sort of thing. You know, I like to work on stuff. A lot of good ideas. Uh, things to consider, maybe uh, ways to go about that, what other people have done uh, to suit them, like to tinker around with mechanical stuff. Uh, I don't always take the time, I just can't take the time to answer everybody's comments. Just so you know, I do read all of them. So, uh, a lot of good stuff there. But I got to thinking, there's gotta be some happy medium. You know, I already carry probably a lot more tools than a lot of people do. So, in that sense, I have, I do kind of have a workshop with me. I, I can repair a lot on the road. So there's that or going all out extreme and getting a big old car, cargo trailer or something and having a shop in it. And I got to thinking, I wonder if my generator, <laughs> I wonder if my generator will power my 1.6 horsepower V-twin air compressor. <laughs> Well, if I could take that thing, if I could have that thing along 
that's a, that's a, opens up a whole new world of having all all kinds of air tools and uh, I could do a lot with that. And if I had my, my entire toolbox, yeah, and I do know my generator, I do know my generator will run my welder. So that's a lot of stuff. I could do a lot of things. But I don't know how practical that's really all is. I, I'm gonna have to find out, uh, work some, find some happy middle, I guess. But uh, enough about all that, I suppose, for now. The other thing about the comments is, I, uh, some of you might have uh, misunderstood me. I'm so misunderstood. <laughs> I have no. I, I have no desire to be an, a mobile RV mechanic. None. Zero. I do not want to work on RVs. I don't want to work on my RV. Okay? I do work on my own RV. Uh, save money. Mainly inconvenience. I don't want it in the shop for days or weeks. So um, I do have the, the ability to work on many, many things on the RV. But that's not... I don't enjoy that. I don't want to work on my RV. I don't want to work on anybody else's. Now, that doesn't mean, don't misunderstand me again, that doesn't mean I wouldn't gladly and happily uh, help somebody out that was maybe broke down and just in a bad spot or, or you know, I would get satisfaction. I, I enjoy help, would enjoy helping somebody um, or helping friends out. Uh, that's, that's, that's different than kind of, aiming to advertise and try to get that kind of work I mean there's probably liability involved and all that and I just don't want to be turning wrenches all the time on RVs there I'm I more enjoy like uh, restoration type projects of uh, you know classics uh, antiques uh, that sort of thing I, don't, I can work on these I just don't want to <laughs> Okay, so with that said, we're going to get the heck out of here. Parts are ready for when we get back, and that's it. We need to go. <laughs> well, I guess there was nothing else left to do but leave. This is so weird driving a Bounder. You know, after driving the little Ford Focus and the lawn tractor. The motorcycles, the e-bike, you know, after driving little stuff, just kind of, in the bounder sitting for a while, just kind of, I'm like, what? Wait a minute, I'm going to drive this, I'm going to drive this thing that's big as a house? Not to worry, it all comes back real quick. We're good here. What do you think, Bella? Are we good? Huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, on the road again. Good girl. Well, we're descending down a hill into uh, Leechburg, Pennsylvania, and we're headed for uh, get on Route 66. Yes, again, <laughs> there's Route 66 in Pennsylvania. Here's a reminder, if you ever have a chance to watch uh, the videos on a, a bigger screen, uh, try it out sometime if you're used to watching it on a phone or laptop. Try logging into a, a smart TV and watching it on a big screen. Uh, the, the camera really does have pretty good quality. I forget to do that once in a while. And I did it the other night, it's like, wow, that's uh, pretty cool on a big screen. So, if you get a chance to do that. I apologize for the dirty windshield. Uh, it's just dust. Mainly a little bit of dust from sitting. The one nice thing about my... Uh, one nice thing about the bounder sitting for a while is I haven't had to clean bugs off the windshield in a long time. <laughs> that, that can 
be a bit of a task when you're traveling a lot. Try to keep a windshield clean on these things. where we're at. Hey Bella, you know where we're at girl? Huh? You recognize this place? So we've come back out to Crooked Creek. This is our go-to spot when we're out here. It's only probably 15 miles maybe uh, from the garage. And we've got a couple of tent campers out here. Now it can be tricky finding, uh, there's not a lot of level spots. I mean, they're not real bad, but there's two, three, there's several you could actually level a, a big rig. I mean, whether it's a big class A or a, um, you know, a big fifth wheel and truck, all that. Right. Site number 12 back here is, is one that is so level I can just back in and I don't have to put the leveling jacks down or anything. But there's another one back here. We're gonna get up away from these people. Uh, the tent campers, I don't see anybody up at this part. So maybe we'll just come up here and have a little more peace and quiet. Well, they have a little play area um, fenced off. I guess it's part of the COVID thing. I don't want children and families and stuff gathering too close. Uh, I see some reserve signs. June 11th through 14th. Uh, what's this one? June 8th through the 11th. What's today's date? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I guess that'll do back there. 
and I like I say I think we're just staying staying a night you know when I have help when I have a helper coming to help me work on the bounder it's just always nice to have an extra set of hands but I get under there and need another tool and have to climb in and out and just say hey you know, grab me a screwdriver <laughs> for a certain wrench and just having somebody to hang out with so it's just nice doing that with somebody if you have somebody that's willing let me see 15 there's no there's no uh, utilities here there's the dump station on the other side of the park you can get on the way in or the way out but there are restrooms here and uh, a good water source to fill your fresh water up here or you can fill it up there's another fill over by the dump station over in, a, in that area but there's no power here except for and they might have taken it out now there's a power supply over here at this very first spot and this is a handicap spot so that is site 15 I can never remember how these are numbered. Okay, the site is the site after the sign. Okay, there's the sign 15, site 15. There's the sign 16, site 16. So, the sign and then the site. I was getting confused if it's this, which site it is, if 16 was on this side or that side. But it's the sign and the site. So that puts us in I think we're in spot 23. Yes, Bella, you have to be on a leash here. Huh? Have to be on a leash. I don't think she minds too bad. It is a 26 foot leash. She can get snooping around a little bit. I think we have neighbors coming. Yeah, June 11th, 14th. So I think today's the 11th. So somebody probably be arriving here later. Now, let's see. So we're in site 23, where these people must have just left. If today is the 11th, indeed. I didn't. I have to go online here real quick and uh, do my. Yeah, there were tracks here, like, I mean, somebody's just left. I guess I can take this out of here. But I need to go on and get online and get pay for this site so it shows it's being occupied. And somebody may have just <laughs> uh, registered it before I got here and not here yet. I'll have to uh, probably pick another site. Come on, Bella. Let's do this so we can stay here. We haven't been here very long and I think Bella has the right idea. She's just chilling out. I think that's what just what we're gonna do this afternoon and this evening is just kind of unwind from all the busyness and all the repairs and just everything that's been going on at the garage and I'll hear some peace and quiet and just disengage for a bit. Maybe make some dinner later on. See what tomorrow brings. We'll probably stay here most of the day tomorrow. I don't know. Get back. Get back to the garage uh, sometime before dark. Because work will start on the bounder in the morning. Pretty early, I think. So, that's all we're doing. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for coming with us today. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.